Great Debaters Contest is brought to you by Safaricom M-Pesa. Great day for debate here in Meru County. Welcome to the Great Debaters Contest. I am Mariam Bishar. And I am Austin Nyambok. We have Giaki Girls and Kiriro School with the motion, adoption of cashless transactions has led to insecurity. Who will be victorious? Proposal number one, you have three minutes. My name is Yvonne Kegonda from Yaki Girls, proposing the motion, adoption of cashless transaction has led to increase in insecurity. What is cashless transaction? It is a state by, whereby you are not required to use cash in your transactions. There are various forms of transac cashless transactions. You've got the M-Pesa, you've got the M-Shuari, we've got the Bebape, the Western Union, Union. When we talk about the insecurity, we do not necessarily mean the physical insecurity. We can have political insecurity, economic insecurity, job insecurity, and also social insecurity. Uh, my first point, when we look at the Beba Pay transaction, it was started last year and greatly failed. Why? It failed because the transaction cards do not have a password to, ident to uniquely protect the user. You have to deposit your money in the, in the, in tra in the transaction card and then you'll be paying your fares using it. When it was introduced in Githurai 45 Fruit, it greatly failed because people are stealing the transaction cards and then you are using them to pay your, your fare. So, stealing is it an insecurity or a security? We look at job insecurity. Let's look at a financial institution. In a bank, there are teller machines. Teller machines, they have replaced the work of cashiers, the messengers. A cashier is needed to give the money. Once you withdraw the money, you are, a cashier is required to give the money. But these days, a computer, a robot, has, has replaced the work of the, of the cashier. That is job insecurity. We look at the economic insecurity. When you have your when you have your money in your visa transaction card, you can go on a shopping mall, do your shopping, and you're required to, to pay for the shopping. You can overspend because you're sure your card has enough money. Maybe you're budgeted to spend only 2,000 shillings, and then you go, you know, you, you know you're rich. Your visa card has over 50,000, and you go and find a very nice laptop and you have to get it. It costs you 45,000. 45,000 plus 2,000, that is 47,000. That is overspending. And we term that, and we term that one as economic insecurity. Opposition, you have three minutes as well. Good afternoon, I'm Kireba Dolkas from Kireba. I'm opposing this motion that says adoption of cashless transaction has led to increased insecurity. To start with, uh, my colleague here has said that this beba pay has filled terribly. Uh, may, may I correct you, please? It has, not been, it has not filled, but it is on its starting point, and we are expecting more from it as we are continuing. Uh, another point is that uh, she has said about uh, robots taking the, 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 the position of the jobs that should be offered to people. Okay, I'm going to ratify you also. Uh, it, uh, this cashless transaction has led to, to open up of very many agents around the countryside whereby people from the rural and other areas are getting opportunity to have a job. She's talking about paying more than what you're supposed to be paying. Okay, these, these scans are very secure because you don't have to carry cash around because it is very bulky and also it is very sensitive, especially where you are walking on clouded areas or streets, for example, uh, the open markets. 
another thing is whereby you are working in dark corners, you might be even pickpocketed and conned, or even, for example, when you get, uh, these people are calling themselves dub, money doublers, you, you are going to meet them while you are carrying your cash, they are going to, uh, to interfere with you and thereby you are going to give your money, so waiting to be, to be doubled, but there you are conned. So I'm um, supporting that the cashless transaction has lent to no insecurity, but to, to security. Thank you. Now here are rebuttals, beginning with the proposers. You have three minutes. Okay, I'm Rispa from Gyaki Girls, here to propose the motion that says, adoption of cashless transactions has lent to an increase in insecurity. But, but before all, I want to pose a question to my, to my colleague. She has said already that the Beba P is in starting point. It, was, it, is, it has already have been, have been started, but it has failed due to the failure of lacking that, the password. My first point is political insecurity. For example, let's take an example whereby one just uses those credit facilities. Let's take this way. You see, by use of credit facilities, one can just maybe use one check to, to make a payment to a large people, for example. Um, when someone just decided that to hire someone from another country or outside country or a group of people to come and attack our country, he does so by use of credit facilities, whereby he, has, he, has, he is only required to pay those people just using one check. My second point is that these cashless transactions, it poses a disadvantage to illiterate people. Take it this way. By use of computers, one can just send you a message via, via internet telling you that you've won, for example, 100 million. And then because the illiterate person just won't, or because she or he is poor, means that 100 million to cater for his or her life. But before, she or he is told, just send us 5,000 and we will have put that money in your account. That's it's an advantage to illiterate people. Let's take of an example of economic insecurity whereby one is, has been given a check. You see, check, a check takes six months to, cut, to be mature. What if the need of that person was urgent? And then what will she do since the check will take six months to mature? That's a big question. It has brought insecurity in economic. My friend also has talked about pickpocketing. Let's say, or let's take it this way. By use of cashless transactions, you've said she, it has lent to decrease in pickpocketing. But I pose a, I pose a, I pose a question to you. By, by use of that pickpocketing, one, it has lent to decrease in pickpocketing, but also use of ATM cans can lead to the same thing whereby one is forced to withdraw some, an extra even amount of money from his account, from his or account and put to somebody's account. This bringing inflation in our country. Thank you. Opposition, time for your rebuttal. My first point is, when it has reduced cash in circulation that caps cash returned crimes like money doublers. That is whereby once you've got money in your pocket, once you once you use the you work with it, it can be stolen or you can be armed by the robbers, whereby the, your money can be stolen. When you come to the side of the M pesas, we've got the pins, the cans have been enhanced with pins. Which one can change if frequently as he or she can? Once you realize that one of your friends or anybody has got your pin, you can change it and still regain the money that you have. The, on the side of the ATMs, we've got the CCTV cameras, which, use, which are being used once one, once one withdraws your money, he or she can be seen through the CCTV, the CCTV cameras. And once he's seen, it can, the, he can be followed up and he can refer your money. 
when you come to the e-banking, there is this thing about the the e-banking enables you to operate or to transact your money while it's still seated in, in your house. So you don't have to walk from here to, a, to an agent. So you just transact your money through, you just transact your money through, through, the, through your phone. And so maybe once you are in, in, your, in your house, once you are in your house, you've got an emergency. So by that, you will not need to go to the, to the bank if it is at night so that you can go and transact the money there. You just use your phone and transact the money. Or if it is you're, you're like you're going to the hospital and you've got the visa cans, there are some, there are some hospitals who, are, who allows the visa cans to be used. So you can use it. And then on the other side, once you've got the, once you've got the e-banking, there is this thing of whereby some some of the people change their files and and so on and so forth, like the key loggers. So you don't have to go to the cyber cafe since you've got since you've got the the computer in your house whereby you can transact your money and there is nobody who copy your identities. When you come to the other side, there is the checking. The closed checking, it cannot be stolen since it, it is handled to a person himself. You should, you, it, does not, it cannot be given to a person who is not authorized to it. So that one, that one curbs the insecurity. Thank you. Take part in the M challenge by sending your short song, rap, or poem about Safaricom M Pesa on WhatsApp, and you could win 1,000 shillings in Safaricom airtime. The proposers have been asked to expound on how cashless systems are an advantage for illiterate people, and the opposers have been asked to expound on how CCTV cameras are helpful in curbing crime when it comes to the use of cashless systems. We leave them to answer the questions. <laughs> Proposal number three, you have three minutes. I'm Masiwe Irimu. I'm here to answer your question. You asked how is it a disadvantage to the illiterate? First of all, the illiterate, maybe they don't understand what is going on. For example, a message is sent to you. Maybe you are told, send this, kind, this amount of money to a certain person. You send your money and you don't know to whom you are sending. And because you are illiterate, you, you don't understand what is going on. And that will leave you in economic insecurity. You end up se sending your money unknowingly to the people you don't know. I'm hereby to propose this motion that goes by. Adoption of cashless transaction of money has led to increasing insecurity. First one, it has led to quick financing of criminal activities. Nowadays, we don't have people who are criminals coming into social places, because why? If the masterminds behind the, the attack maybe which is being planned, they need fast money, fast cash to come and plan an attack or to execute a certain attack, what do they do? They need fast money and via M-Pesa, the ATM cards, the m -shuary, they can get the fast money that they need and thereby executing their attacks. Another point the marginalized groups. When we say the marginalized communities in Kenya, meaning that the system of technology in those 
areas is not as developed as we could have in Nairobi or for example in Meru. For example, I've got my ATM card with me. I'm in Trukana, I'm in Wajir, I'm in Mandera, but the automated machines are not available in those particular places. What do I do? I have to travel for a long distance, therefore paying fare to gain access to that machine so that I can withdraw my money. And I end up spending a lot of money in my transport than the money I end up uh, using money which is more than I could have gone. Maybe if I'm in Nairobi, I need money, I go and get money very easily because the, the systems, the technology there is advanced. And so leaving me in a financial insecurity. Thank you. Opposers, you have three minutes to respond to the audience. I'm Omega Mutuidi from Credo Secondary School. Uh, let me start by answering the question that they asked, whereby they asked, how do the CCTV cap the, this criminal activities of uh, stealing the cash? This is whereby uh, it caps activities of criminals like fraudsters, who when they, are, they, they either attack an ATM machine, after taking the money, they can be traced where they are and have their photos with them, and then later, they are followed up. Uh, to my first opposing point, this is where uh, cashless transactions uh, create jobs, opportunity uh, to the youth. Uh, this is whereby they can be employed in financial institutions, whereby they can work to earn a living instead of engaging in cash-related crimes like robbing and uh, pickpocketing when they handle. Uh, to my second point, this is where, by use of cashless transactions, mostly it entails use of a personal or personal pin or a password, when by everybody else outside there will not be able to assess the personal, uh, personal pin that you are using in order to, uh, to use your account. The third point, this is where, um, by use of money, it's very sensitive to call it. This is where, by, um, ATM, uh, by use of those cashless transactions, one can be able, uh, one, even if one corrects it, will not be able to know the details that the owner uses to access his or her account. Thank you. Closing submissions. Proposers, you have one minute. As we come to the conclusion of this motion, I would first advise that if you're developing a, a cashless transaction system, avoid loopholes. For example, the Beba Pay. I'll then install the passwords. That it will help. It will help everyone. Develop a machine that can be able to favor everyone. If you have to develop it, then institute it in every institute it everywhere. Not in some places, and then other people are unable to assess the machine. And then the CCTV cameras. Yes, the CCTV cameras are there. It, it is able to see your image. Does it display your name? What about the cases of the, the identical cases? I'm identical to the other person. How do you differentiate me? Does it give you your, my name that you know I'm the one who was there? It doesn't give you your name. It only shows you my face. I can do a plastic surgery, and you can do nothing about it. You have one minute for your final statement. Again, I'll see that it's better prevention than cure. Carrying this cash, you are exposed to very many crimes. For example, you might be even violently robbed. And whereas you are carrying your account, you only know your own pin, you know your password, and when it gets lost, you might trace it or replace it because you are the only one who has uh, that thing to change your pin or just do it as frequent as you realize that there is somebody who has it or who has no uh, pin. Okay, I'll say about the, the Beba P, uh, there is this, these cases that were of, of carjacking. 
You could be jagged and taken to the forest. There you are, you are, you be robbed everything. But the case that you are carrying, you can't. Nobody is going to take the card because that it is not going to aeroplane in, in any way. Uh, cashless transaction has reduced uh, circulation of cash and reduced and reduced the armed robbery that has been uh, rampant throughout the time that you have been uh, using the cash transactions thank you i'd want to appreciate von and i love the fact that you came and gave examples that were very well articulated understood uh, the example of even Bebe Pay and the fact that we know that Bebe Pay had to refund money to all the subscribers that they had. That was just current and very uh, precise. I love the aspect of defining the various forms of insecurity, job insecurity and the rest. RISPA, um, you also have very good points when you come across to try and keep up with the pace. But nonetheless, you kill the tempo that was already started by Yvonne and it was evident that you struggled to bring them out. Just organize yourself, organize the points, bring them out well, and you will not have a bumpy ride as you come across, uh, as you give out your points. Masi, good points. I was almost wondering whether there was someone making faces for you uh, at the back, because you appeared as if somebody was trying to distract you. Because you also had very nice points to really strengthen your team, but you also struggled towards the end while trying to deliver them. If you can sit down as a team and organize yourselves very well, just like Yvonne came across, you'd really come out as a very strong team. The other opponents, Muthoni, you started off by cross-examining your team. Your first two minutes were purely on cross-examining the teams. That's not your role. That's the role of Valentine when she comes to speak. And so as a first speaker, you failed to really tell us about the motion, defining the motion and giving out the points uh, that were expected of your team. Nonetheless, the few that you managed to give us were good. Valentine, um, I wouldn't say much, but from the way you even left the stage, it spoke that you really struggled. You went and just sat down through the papers, and it was like, whew, I'm done, is it? <laughs> Omega, you also struggled when you came to the stage, and I just want to say that you utilized your time uh, it was it was bad because and you're very much penalized for that i wish to encourage you to read widely there's a lot of laps in our language especially Masi omega omega you could almost predict how you're going to introduce your next argument i am here to answer the question whereby we were asked that whereby is misplaced the same applies to Masi. again hereby is misplaced and any time Omega is introducing the motion, the word whereby will appear. It becomes so mechanical, and it's an indication that we have not yet mastered our language. So my encouragement would be, let us try and read widely, master the English language, and then after that, we can make good debaters. The Aki girls were awarded 67% by the judges. Give them a hand. Their opponents, Kiriro girls, were awarded 62.6. That means Gyaki girls are our winners. We'd like to thank Safari Mpesa, KBC Channel One, and urge you all to follow us on Twitter, The Great Debaters Contest. I am Austin Nyambok. And I am Mariam Bashar. We'll see you next time. Contest was brought to you by Safaricom Mpesa.